Welcome to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Bethel Assembly, located in Oshawa, Canada. Our mandate is to spread the good news and to influence our surrounding communities. We hope your time in this place of worship, love, communion, service, and community will be a glorious and life-transforming experience. This is a place for your entire family, a place for you and me. We are a community church that deeply cares about you. All ministries were created to meet individuals' needs. In Bethel Assembly, we are a Bible-believing church charged with spreading the Word of God throughout the region of Doab. We are interested in your God-given potentials and wanted to help you to be able to fulfill your God-given destiny. We, we care about, about you. Welcome to your battle experience. Brethren, I want to welcome every one of us into the presence of the Lord. In his presence, there is fullness of joy, and at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. And I'd like to talk this morning, very briefly, on what I call preparation for Jubilee. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, are you prepared? Are you ready? You are not sure. I said, are you ready? Are you prepared for Jubilee, for celebration? Because from this moment and henceforth, celebration will never cease in your life in the name of Jesus. Let's read the scripture. Jeremiah chapter 29. We'll read from verse 10 to verse 14. Preparations for Jubilee. Jeremiah chapter 29. From verse 10, we'll read to verse 14. For thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word towards you in causing you to return to this place. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Saith who? Saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me and i will hearken unto you and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your hearts verse 14 and that will be the last one and i will be fond of you saith the lord and I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into this place whence I cause you to be carried away captive. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his word in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Now, for as many of us who are aware that our Father and the Lord, the general overseer of this mission, has declared that we are entering into a new season. And it is the season of perfect jubilee. It is the 70th year anniversary of the redeemed Christian Church of God. Hallelujah. And talking about jubilee, let's look at the word jubilee itself. I'm sure some of us have had silver jubilee, golden jubilee, and things like that. This is a celebration of significant milestone for an individual. It could be for a nation. It could be for a set of people. Praise God. I said it's the celebration of what? Of a significant milestone. Praise God. Now, for us as children of the Most High, when we're talking about Jubilee, if you read the scripture very well, and we're still going to talk about it, there are seven cycles 
when we're talking about Jubilee. And the year at the end of that seven cycle, praise God. The year at the end of that seven cycle is the Jubilee, is the year of Jubilee. We're talking about a time that the Lord wants everyone to be free. And so when you look at 70 years, how many cycle? Of seven. Praise God. Praise God. I'm here to tell someone. You see, in the year of Jubilee, the land will receive a rest. But not only the land, the people will enjoy rest. And that's why the Lord has assured us, as we are going into this new month, it's the month of divine rest. I said, it's your month of divine rest. And so shall it be unto you in Jesus' name. Brethren, 70 years of God's faithfulness for this mission. And it's not only just about the mission. It's not about our Father and the Lord, Daddy Gio, Mommy Gio, and all the pastors. Brethren, it's also about you. Do you know why? Because you are partakers of this mission. You are part of the people that God has kept to be able to see this new season. And that's why I'm excited for you. I don't know about you, but I am excited for you. Because God has caused you to be alive up until this day. Please tell your neighbor again, there is glory ahead of you. There is glory ahead of you. There is glory ahead of you. And so for us in the redeemed Christian Church of God, these 70 years, I believe uh, for those who are counting, it's platinum, right? Amen. Platinum celebration. But let me tell someone, based on the word of the Lord, if you go back to our text from verse 10, he said, Thus saith who the Lord, after 70 years is accomplished, I will visit you. The Lord is visiting someone. I said, the Lord is visiting someone. By his visitation, he said, I will accomplish my word towards you. And I am going to say to you in your own land, in your own home, in your own household, in your own family, in the name of Jesus. When the children of Israel found themselves in captivity in Egypt, brethren, there can be no celebration in captivity. There can be no celebration in bondage. Exodus chapter 2, verse 23. Exodus chapter 2, verse 23. There can be no celebration in captivity when they are being ruled by the tax master. The Bible says it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. And the children of Israel, they cried, they sighed by the reason of the bondage. And they cried to God. And their cry came up unto God by the reason of their bondage. A life cannot experience jubilee, celebration, in captivity. Praise the Lord. And so God had to put in place a plan of deliverance. A plan of salvation. A plan of freedom. In the book of Exodus, if you go back to verse uh, 1 of that chapter 2, Exodus. God put in plan a deliverer. The Bible said there was a man of the house of Levi who took to wife the daughter of Levi. Verse 2 says, the woman conceived and bear a son. And when she saw that this son is a godly child, she eat him three months. We know who the scripture is talking about, the man Moses. Even when God now called Moses in, uh, when God called Moses, you are going to deliver the children. You are going to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Even Moses himself was skeptical. 
They have been in captivity for so long, 430 years. That's a long time to be under tribute. That's a long time to be in slavery, to be in captivity. I pray for someone. It does not matter how long. It does not matter who is responsible. It does not even matter what has caused you, your destiny, your glory, your greatness to go into captivity. I decree that in this season of Jubilee, you are delivered. You are set loose. You are set free. In the name of Jesus. The children of Israel, God delivered them from the power of Pharaoh. But there's something about them. The scripture referred to them as a stiff-necked people. They still sinned against the Lord. And at the point, God sent Nebuchadnezzar. Who carried them to captivity in Babylon. And every time that it's time for celebration, the time of Jubilee. Because they found themselves in captivity, their song changed. They began to say, by the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and we wept when we remember Zion. For there are those who carried us away captives, required of us a song. Sing us one of those your church song. One of those songs that you used to praise your God. I decree once again for someone. Whatever has kept you bound and captive up to this moment, you will see them no more. You will not sing the Lord's song in a strange land. What does that mean? They began to sing not to praise God, but to please their tax master. Preparation for Jubilee. Amen. In the book of Isaiah chapter 54, from verse 7. Isaiah chapter 54, from verse 7. The word of the Lord is forever settled in heaven. For someone, the scripture says, For a small moment I may have forsaken you, but with great mercy I will gather this. Verse 8 says, In a little wrath I eat my face from you for a moment. He said, But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on this. See it, the Lord, thy Redeemer. That's the word of the Lord to someone. It does not matter how long you have been in captivity. The year of Jubilee. Your season of rejoicing and celebration has arrived. In the name of Jesus. In the book of Lamentations chapter 3 verse 31. Lamentations chapter 3 verse 31. I'm here to let you know. That the word of the Lord is forever settled in heaven. The Lord says, I will not cast away. I will not cast off forever. A day in the sight of the Lord may be like a thousand years. And so your captivity may seem as if it is 10, 20, 30, 40 years in the making. But the Lord will not cast off forever. The scripture also says in the book of Psalm chapter 30 verse 5. Psalm 30, verse 5. We have a word from the Lord. His anger endure but a moment. In his favor, there is what? Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And so I'm here to tell someone. Your money has arrived. I say your money has arrived. Your night season is over. And that's why you need to rejoice. Preparation for Jubilee. Now, when we're talking about preparation, what does that mean? You need to look forward. You need to be ready. You need to prepare. Praise God. Because God has promised complete total and perfect deliverance in the year of jubilee leviticus chapter 25 
verse 10. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 10. In this year of Jubilee, God has promised freedom, liberty. You are going to allow the 58th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land unto the inhabitant. It shall be a jubilee. Unto who? Unto you. And ye shall return every man unto his possession. And ye shall return every man unto his family. The Lord is returning. Every of your lost goodness. Every of your lost greatness. Every of your lost glory. Every of your lost favor. In the name of Jesus. If you go to verse 13. God has promised recovery. He has promised freedom. He has promised total breakthrough. In the year of this jubilee. Every one shall return. Amen. In the year of this jubilee, you shall return every man unto his possession. All the years that the locust, the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar has eaten, has stolen in your life, there will be a divine recovery. And there will be a divine recovery that will lead to divine possession in the name of Jesus. Brethren, God has instructed and commanded a release. And once God said it, it is settled. I said it is what? It is settled. Deuteronomy chapter 15 from verse 1 to verse 2. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 15. I want you to pay attention to this scripture. At the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. I said you are released. You are delivered. And this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lendeth out unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother. Because it is called the Lord's release. I pray for someone. In this year of jubilee, you are released from every form of debt. From every form of debt. In the name of Jesus. That could be in different form. The children of Israel were debtors to the Egyptians. Not by choice. They did not have any choice. And for 430 years, they did not know what is called freedom. Praise God. Praise God. But I have a better news. A glorious news. A wonderful news. Jesus is our perfect liberty. You don't have to wait for multiple cycles of seven again. Hello? Someone is saying, Pastor, do I have to wait another seven years? No. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 8, verse 32, John chapter 8, verse 32. Jesus. He came to pay the ultimate sacrifice for you and for me. He says, when you know him, you know the truth. And that truth will do what? I say you are free. You are delivered. Look at verse 36 of that John 8. You will know the truth. The truth will set you free. But he says, you are the ones that will know the truth. And the truth that you know will set you free. But he now says, if the son who is Jesus, therefore, has set you free. Woo! You are what? You are not just free. You are free indeed. You are free totally. You are no longer a slave to sin, to oppression, to affliction, to the oppressor. Is someone free? Is someone free? Is someone free? I want you to declare your freedom today. Praise the Lord. Jesus has given us freedom and liberty in him. And yes, as we celebrate this year of Jubilee. Now, see, brethren, listen. When there is a year that is decreed as a special year. What that means is that in Christ Jesus, the liberty that you and I have received, 
There is that now special blessing that we are now even in a new year that is called the year of liberty, the year of freedom, the year of jubilee. Praise God. I so you cannot be bound again. I said you cannot be bound again. Jesus came to fulfill the law. He says, I have not come to abandon the law, but to fulfill it. And so now it is the year of jubilee. You must still celebrate it. Amen. The scripture says in the book of Isaiah chapter 61. Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. That spirit is upon you. Because he has anointed you to preach the tidings. The good tidings unto the meek. He has sent you to bind the broken hearted. To proclaim what? Liberty. To who? Who is going to proclaim the liberty? Hello church. Who will proclaim the liberty? Now can you proclaim liberty when you are not free? Are we together? You have been set. If the son of God has set you free. You are free indeed. And so as a result of the liberty that you have in Christ Jesus. You will now rise up. And you will proclaim liberty. Over every area of your life. Over every of your domain. Over the life of your children. Over your career. Over your finances. You will do what? Proclaim liberty. The opening of prison to them that are bound. Amen. Look at verse 2. When you proclaim liberty, when you decree, it says you are going to proclaim the acceptable year of the law in this new year. It is the acceptable year of the law for someone that you are going to be accepted. Where you have been disfavored, where you have been rejected, where you have been refused, you would be accepted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. God wants us to experience freedom in every area of our life. In your career, in your family life, in your finances, in your health. But there's something that we need to do. How can I prepare for Jubilee? It is still the word of the Lord. It says at the end of every seven years thou shall make a release you will declare you will proclaim that release but how can i prepare number one you need to search for those promises of god what are the promises of god for you for your home for your family for your household for your lineage for your generation for the church for the land for the nations of the world you need to do what? You need to search it out. The book of Jeremiah that we read earlier, 29 from verse 10. Let's read it again, 10 and 11. You need to search the word of the Lord. What are those promises? Jeremiah 29. Thus saith the Lord. He says, after 70 years. Who said it? Hello, church. Who has said it? How would you know if you don't search it out? There are so many promises of God for us. But as believers, we don't know them. And ignorance is not an excuse. After 70 years is accomplished at Babylon, the Lord told the children of Israel, I will visit you and I will perform my good word towards you. And will cause you to return from captivity to your own land. Amen. It's the word of the Lord. Verse 11. But if they don't know, they will not what? They will not do anything about it. Praise God. He said, because I know the thoughts that I have towards you. See it, the law. It is the thought of freedom. It is the thought of liberty. It is the thought of good not of evil please tell your neighbor you need to search out the promises of god for your life in the book of daniel chapter 9 daniel chapter 9 from verse 2 daniel said i understood by the word what god has said in the first year of 
his reign, I, Daniel, understood by the books, by the scripture. He went to do what? To search and research. What are those promises? It says, wherefore the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he will accomplish 70 years in desolation of Jerusalem. Verse 3. 70 years. He said, but I have to, and when I searched it out, what did I do? I did not just research it and began to set up a pity party and say, yes, God says 70 years. Let's just continue to, you know, manage it. By, sweet by and by. He said, no, I knew what the word of the Lord said. And I set my face unto the Lord to seek by what? By prayer and supplication with fasting. What has the Lord said concerning you? What are you doing about it? Amen. By prayer and supplication. You need to search it out. And when you search it out, you must do something about it. Praise God. You must do what? You must pray about it. You see, what you give life. When you speak something, you are giving life. What you give life. Is what you will become. And that's why I always tell our parents. Please stop using any derogatory word against your children. Because what you call them is what they will become. I knew what the scripture said. After 70 years. And he says Lord it is 70 years. We must be set free. We must be delivered. Preparation for jubilee. In the book of Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. It's not just enough for you to know that there are promises of God. But you need to seek it out. He says seek ye out of the book of the law and read it. Study it. Meditate it. Wholeheartedly. No one of these shall fail. None of the word of the Lord for you will fail. Do you know why? He said because his mouth has commanded it. His spirit has gathered them. The word of the Lord concerning is not your word. It is his word. And the Lord is saying this year, it is the year of your jubilee. I said, who has said it? All you need to do is what? Is to believe. And that's the second point. You need to search out the promise. Number two, you need to believe it. You see, in believing it, you don't have to worry about how it will come to pass. Do you know why? Because the children of Israel, when Moses came to them and said, God has sent me as your deliverer. They look at him and they know, well, concerning his status and the status of Pharaoh, who has the power? Nobody knows Moses. Well, yeah, he said he's a man of God. And they looked at their situation. We have been in this captivity for 430 years. And this man showed up. And he even showed up to come and add more to our body because of what he said. Pharaoh now said they must not even give us any providence again. But I need you to believe what the Lord said concerning you. I said you must believe what the Lord said. In Jeremiah chapter 29. Look at verse 14 this time around. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 14. You need to believe. Tell your neighbor you need to believe. You need to believe. Verse 14 says, I will be found of you. When you call unto him, I will be found of you. I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you. See the Lord. And I will bring you again into this place. Who said it? What should you do? If you can only believe, you will see the glory of the Lord. I said you will see the glory of the Lord. In Psalm 89, verse 34. Psalm 89, verse 34. I want you to prepare your mind. Prepare your mind. Because the word of the Lord 
is not going to be broken concerning you. He says, my covenant will I not break. I will not alter the things that has gone out of my lips. God is not a man that he will lie concerning any of his promises towards you, beloved. Please tell your neighbor again, are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you ready? Are you prepared for celebration? For jubilee? Preparation for jubilee? Number three. As we round up. You must not only search the scripture to know those promises. You must not only believe it. You must actually prepare for celebration. Amen. Prepare for the fulfillment of the promises of God. Amen. You must do what? Prepare for it. If you go back to that uh, Leviticus chapter 25. Amen. From verse 9. Leviticus chapter 25. From verse 9 and verse 10. There are certain things that we need to do as children of God. And one of it is not just to, you see, it's one thing to believe what God said. Leviticus 25, 9 to 10. It's one thing to believe what the word says. It's another thing to take steps. It's like someone that the Lord said, according to the time of life, by this time next year, you are going to conceive, you are going to have a child. Who has said it? What does that person need to do? Just believe it. And what? You are not just going to believe it and run away from your husband. Hello? <laughs> Praise God. I'm sure we understand what I'm saying. You believe it and you take action. Right? I decree for someone. That in the name of Jesus. As you enter into the promises of the Lord and you take steps lives will begin to fall unto you in pleasant places in the name of Jesus he says then thou shalt cause the trumpet of the jubilee to be sound on the tenth day of the seventh month we're still in the seventh month but today is the 31st day right the trumpet of jubilee for someone is sounding. I said it is sounding. In the day of the atonement, you shall make the trumpet to sound throughout all your land. Look at verse 10. When the trumpet sounds, you are going to unload. This time it's the 50th year, but we are talking of the 70th year. And proclaim liberty throughout the land. What are they doing? They are preparing for what? For celebration. You're, ask your neighbor again, are you ready? Are you prepared for celebration? Throughout all the land unto the inhabitants, it shall be a jubilee unto you. I said it shall be a jubilee unto you. And what will happen in that year of Jubilee? And you shall return every man unto his possession. Every man unto his family. Are you ready to rejoice? The scripture also says, we're ready to tell you, Isaiah chapter 35, verse 10. If you have any doubt at all in your heart, Brethren, now is the time to get it out of your mind. Because you are part of this mission. Now let me rephrase again. Every one of us, we are under the covenant of the redeemed Christian church of God. And the Lord has said, in this year of jubilee, for each and every one of us, we have Entered into that season of perfect jubilee. And the Bible says, And the ransom of the Lord shall return. I said, You will return and come to Zion and come to Bethel with songs, and everlasting joy shall be upon your head. You will obtain joy and gladness, sorrow, shame. 
will flee, will disappear, will no longer be had in your tabernacle. Because your season of celebration is when? It's when? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me add this as I round up. Jesus is a perfect jubilee. You don't need to wait for any cycles of seven years. And so, do you know him? Because if you don't, you may not experience this celebration that we are talking about. In Jeremiah chapter 30, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 10. If you don't know him, you may not experience the celebration that we're talking about. But in this year of Jubilee, I don't want you to hear about Jubilee. To even sing and dance about it, but you must celebrate it. You, and you must partake of it. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, see the Lord. Neither be thou dismayed, O Israel, for I, the Lord, I will save thee. From where? From afar. Your seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return. I said you will return. And you shall be in rest. I said you will be in rest. And be quiet. And none shall make you to be what? To be afraid anymore. I said no one will make you to be afraid anymore. Go to verse 17. Thank you Holy Spirit. Oh, Lord Spirit. The Lord is restoring health to someone. <laughs> He's restoring health to someone. The Lord said you should go back. The report that you have been given, go and tell them you have been delivered. Go and tell them you have been set free. They will not believe you, but just insist that the Lord has said it, and I believe it. Let them do another test. Please, let's rise up. Holy Spirit. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thy wounds, saith the Lord. Because they called you an outcast. See, this is Zion. Who no man seek it after. You are not in vogue anymore. You are not in tune with what is going on in the world. But listen to what the Lord said. Verse 18. Listen to what the Lord said. Me la katuli and abromo sa katalia. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents. I will have mercy upon your dwelling place. Your life shall be built again. Your home shall be built again. Your destiny shall be built again. And your palace will remain. Look at verse 19. Hmm. Out of your life from this day shall proceed. Thanksgiving. 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 And voice of them that make merry. Says I will multiply you. You will not be desolate. You will not be few again. Brethren, I want you to take this word of prayer for yourself. Forever, O oh Lord, your word is set to in heaven. What has the Lord said to you? You are going in two. The year of jubilee. What do you want to be delivered from? What do you want to be set free from? What do you want to be set loose from? Why don't you talk to the Lord? Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. I've been changed. Malikata Lirimos kunda libra mose kenderia. Lika poli e mampra gata li dobo sontolia. Afan jo. Liga yele 
I decree for each and every of your children as you are proclaimed unto us. I decree from this day and henceforth celebration, celebration into your life, into your home. Your season of money has ended, your season of sorrow has ended, your pain has been taken away. Your shame has been taken away. Your sicknesses has been nailed to the cross. You will see them no more. In the name of Jesus. In your family life. In your career. In your finances. In your health. Over your children. It shall be celebration galore. It shall be celebration galore. In the name of Jesus. Thank you Father Lord. Jesus name we are brave if you know you have been free if you know you have been delivered if you know you have been set free why don't you celebrate the Lord as you take your sins celebrate him hallelujah the Lord bless you thank you for joining us today we hope your better experience was blessed join us next time here in the sanctuary you can drive in carpool or reach out to our transportation team for assistance. Our services hold every Sunday at 10 a.m. Stay connected via our social media platforms and visit our website at www.rccgbethelassembly.org. See you next time.